Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This time, we're on Mower the Artoten. This was recommended by a couple of you guys in the comments of the previous video. So the previous video I played Forsaken for the first time, which was cool. I actually really liked that map. I've been back and played it a couple of times since. I really enjoy it. And this was commented... Uh, by the boss and by Santa Silva, so thank you guys for the comments to say to try out more the Toten because they think it's the best map. So uh, I'll be the judge today, and you guys can be the judge in the comments. How's about that? You guys can let me know down below what you guys think if this is the if this map is better than Forsaken or not. I have been in this map for like five minutes. I know that it's what is I've never seen that though. What is that down there? I, I was about to say how I've been in this map for like five minutes before, before I had to go and do something else, and then I just didn't keep playing it. But I knew that it was kind of like die eyes when you're in high flats, but that looks as if you can get down to ground level. And there's a lot of zip lines and stuff, I have seen that. What's this? Oh, it's the Rampage Inducer. Cool. But also get really low texture for some reason. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, but yeah, we can take the zip lines and stuff in this one. I don't know. I, I've seen, I think this rooftop and one other rooftop the, the power's that way but i don't know is there any guns there? there's a crafting station here there's also power that way we can go both ways i commented on it i didn't pick up the loose change in front of the pet machine so we'll do that and we'll zip line down this way i guess i think i went the other way before so this will be interesting to see what's in in this building it's very cramped that's a, a big difference from uh it's a big difference from Forsaken and even D-Machine. D-Machine feels as if it's really kind of wide open. And there's a lot of space. Oh, there's quite a bit of space here. A lot of space to train and, and group zombies up before having to kill them. Whereas this is a lot more cramped. I don't know. I quite like it. It just it is a harder difficulty level-wise or train level-wise because the space is so so small and confined. But I think, well, I'm guessing it looks like we go through this door here, 750. We can do that. Open door to the cor Corber rooftop. Right, okay, so power's down that way. Okay, is there collectibles? There's oh, there's power collectibles. Klaus, headgear, and warhead. Okay, interesting. Don't know what any of that stuff is. Um, but we need to keep a lookout for power things. It's probably going to be similar situation to... Um, the Forsaken, where it tells us that, you know, go here and do this and do this, and that's how you do the, what was it, a lockout on Forsaken? So hopefully we can follow this stuff. That's the box. It is. Okay, restore power to the district first. There's a lot of story in, in Cold War Zombies. I enjoy the the story of zombies. I haven't paid much attention to any of the stories in this, unfortunately. I'll maybe go back and look it up before Black Ops 6 comes out, but Black Ops 6 does come out tomorrow. And uh, it is fair to say that I am extremely excited to play it. I have it pre-ordered, I've got it pre-loaded, and I'm ready to to get a start on it as soon as it comes out, as soon as it drops. There will be some videos and stuff coming out as well, so if you enjoy this one or the previous video on zombies, or even maybe multiplayer, hit subscribe down below and uh, stay tuned for some for some updated videos coming. We can open this door now actually, I've just seen that, so let's jump down here. What's this? Fire extinguisher. It's very dark, this map is very dark. Now. I don't mind a dark map. It just means that during the day, I've got windows in my office and it's harder to see. <laughs> but, oh, but wait, we look as if we're down. How does that work? Can you not use that zip line? We, it looks like we've made it to ground level, which is further than what I made it before, so we're getting there. What's this? Unlock door. A grate in the ground? You go underground? That's cool. There's that, the purple thing we've seen from the, uh, from the rooftop. What is this? Oh, it's locked behind this big fortress. 
wall, big fortified wall. What is that? They look like zombies. Oh, interested to see what that is over there. Uh, for now, I mean, being down on this ground level, there's a lot more space here. I did speak about how it was... Can we go in here? Turn the power on first, okay. I did speak about how the map was a lot more cramped, but it seems to have opened... Like, look at the space you've got here. This is kind of wild. There's so much space here to, to do things. What's this? Uncommon Type 63. I don't know. Oh, the intel. Well, I'll take you. How the turntables. What? Excuse you. I have actually been and tried out Modern Warfare 3 zombies. So what is that? MWZ? Modern Warfare zombies? And I can confidently say I am not a fan. Uh of that game mode. I think it takes away a lot of the challenge. Oh, here's Jug. What is the what the hell is this? Oh god. I think it takes away a lot of the challenge. Um like to not have round based zombies or to have such a sprawled out map. I think it takes a lot away. I think the the outbreak mode that is in Cold War is also similar where it's an open map and I'm, I just don't see the appeal to it, you know? Obviously, it's, it's easier to get into. If it's your first time playing zombies, then sure, go go ahead and, and play it. I'm not saying don't play or whatever, but it just takes away from the kind of difficulty. I grew up with uh, kind of World at War zombies where I was playing... Oh, what's that? I like, oh! Okay, so that's is that a thing I need? Power, yeah, it is. That's one of the things I needed for power. Sweet. Um, I, I kind of grew up with World of War Zombies, where it was like Nactar and Toten, Verukt, Shinonuma, into Black Ops that had like Shangri-La and stuff, and those maps were far more difficult than, than any of the maps you get today. And it kind of makes you appreciate that it's gotten, it's gotten less difficult over time. We've probably got better at playing games. I know I have gotten a lot better at playing games. But they are trying to appeal to a, a newer audience and trying to get more people into zombies, which I'm aware they're actually trying to do with Black Ops 6, and that's why they're bringing out this guided mode, which is similar to, to this here in, in Cold War, where you've got the icons telling you what to do and where to go. But they're also holding that back for a while to, to let the people who enjoy zombies to play it and experience it without that guided mode, which I think is a really good change. And I'm looking forward to uh, doing the easter egg on non-guided mode. Seeing how far we can make it. I think it'll be really good. I'm looking forward to the easter egg hunt in general. You know, I, I didn't have a, a group to do the Cold War easter eggs with. Hopefully getting a group together to do the Black Ops 6 easter eggs with. Because I'm really looking forward to Black Ops 6. I think it'll be good. Uh, we did need 1250 to progress into the next... Uh, area. So I think with this round being done, we'll head down. It looks like we're going underground. What's this? Vine Meisterstrasse. So it's an underground. Okay. Ah, this is cool. Oh, there's the button. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, shit. Uh. Trains? Oh my god, look at all these zombies. So, uh, what's going on with that? Why is there trains? What's going on with that? That was that was actually quite scary. I wonder if the trains kill the zombies or kill me. I, I'm going to assume that they kill me for definite. Um, we can go that way to power, or there's a tunnel down here. What's down here? Hey, this opens up. Who's this guy? What's this? Ammo box. Robots chained to chairs. Wait, so they're talking about that guy right there? Robots chained to chairs. That's that is obviously talking about this guy. This is oh uh, not a way out but a way in, it seems. I wonder if the robot's part of the Easter egg then. That must be what that is. How much is this door? 
1500 okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna can i head back up where was it what was the way this way anything over there no i'm gonna head back up top we'll, we'll handle the rounds outside i reckon can i cross is it safe yeah uh, i'll handle the rounds outside of the the train station probably and then we'll move down when i need to to do things i think it's gonna be a lot easier to progress outside when i can uh, get a bit more space to run around and then that lets us see a bit more of the map as well uh we'll wait for this last zombie to come on. we're only on round three i think or this map feels huge in comparison i don't know if it's because it's all interconnected and we've not went through a teleporter like we did in uh, forsaken but it feels massive i feel like we've been we've been blessed with a, a large map that's not an open world map i can't quite remember how big firebase z is i think so i think this one came out after firebase z i think it was d machine was the launch map and then we had firebase z then we had this map which is mirrored or totem and then we had uh forsaken which is the final map but i'm not quite sure when oh there's an outbreak one as well i don't know when that came out not 100 percent sure so that means this came out before forsaken and we got a nice big map i do like having a decent sized map ones like maps like kind of der reese or the giant or um shangri-la they're, they're quite difficult if you're playing more than solo like if you're playing with a couple of people or, or a squad then those maps are difficult because it's hard to train i can see that one down there it's hard to train um and have kind of space to to work unless you're doing a kind of um camp spot tactic where you're all sitting in the same spot like what we used to do in buried i remember back in the day you'd use the trample steam and you'd sit in the jug corridor with the fan and buried that was the tactic and that was you got some pretty high rounds from that it was pretty good you got some pretty high rounds right let's i think we maybe need one more thing by the looks the start menu to turn the power on I had hoped you could master it power and set fuse yeah okay i am woefully disappointed looks like box needs new fuses okay so we can go this way as well oh is this another one of those yeah it is look Ooh, no. Oh, no. Zombie killer. 300 eliminations. I've got more eliminations than that, surely. What is it? Oh, is that the train coming through? I was like, what's that shaking uh, on the screen? But it's the... I think it's the train running back through. Is that what's got power on? Hey, there we go. Cool. Power. That's where we'll find Valentina. Who's Valentina? Investigate the pack machine. Okay, so it's actually pointing us in the direction of the pack punch machine. Don't hate that. We do not have enough uh, scrap for armor. No armor. I like this space. This space down here is cool. Kind of uh, train tracky, kind of underground bit. Like this. It looks cool. I tell you what they did do with Cold War really well is the 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 aesthetic and the look of the maps. I think the maps look amazing uh, in comparison what is this machine the maps look amazing in comparison to previous uh, maps which i mean comes with an upgrade in graphics and whatnot so it's to be expected almost can we go up wait this one has a zip line here can we go up this repel hey we can so let's take us back up to street level then oh wait are we over the the barrier wait there's the the trial machine thing so so where's the rest of the map i'm on the other side i don't know if i want to go there oh god that's the pat machine uh let's let's play this round out anything over here to to grab get my grubby paws on no ouch we did see jug earlier didn't we it's back in the starting bit Kill. I don't know if I could buy it. I think it's a map. I think this is a map where you need to turn the power on first. Which I prefer. I actually do prefer 
the power requirement before buying perks. I think it makes sense as opposed to uh, being able to buy perks without power, you know. Okay, I think we are down to the last. Uh, I don't know if I want to pack a punch. Wait, there's a zip line there. Oh hey, we're in a building. Sniper, where's this take us? That looks like it takes us into that space. And I don't know if I want to go, that's next to that, I guess. Let me go and double check I've not missed anything down here. And we'll have a look and see what's going on. So that's closed off. I think this is where we came up. Yeah, it was. Anything over... Oh, there's a thing over there. Wait, there's a zip line here too. I do like this, I've got to say. Big fan of multi-level maps. I think it adds a lot to them. It makes the map feel a lot more dynamic, I think. The fact you can climb and go up and it's not just like a staircase. It's actually like, they've got this, this map in particular has got zip lines and stuff, that's cool. Where does this take us then? Where are, oh, we're back in the room. Is this the guy? He's blue, so he's friendly. Ah, okay, so the, the, the repel lines for the ones that were blocked off before are now active. That's cool. We can't do anything with this still. That's wall by stoner. Do we investigate the pack a punch? I'm scared these guys come alive. What's wait, what's this here? Debris pile. Ah. Oh, like stuff to dig up. That's cool. It's like origins. I'm guessing there's the same on this side. There's a, a gun here. QBZ. Armor. Can I buy armor? Yes, we can. I wish, I kind of wish you could walk away from the armor machines. What's this? Guard tower trap. Okay, cool. I, would, I think, I don't think anyway, there's a way of being able to just like quickly walk away from the armor stations. I'm going to activate this. Why not? Yeah, so that's exactly what I th Oh my god. Um, please don't consume me. Oh no, I killed the one zombie that I needed alive. What the hell? Thank god we got Juggernoggy. Can we activate this guard tower trap? Does it work? <laughs> Unlock the pack a bunch. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that was a bit um a bit cheap, I think. Been able to use the guard tower to kill it. Damn, the guard tower is strong, huh? So how I wonder how difficult that boss is supposed to be. Who is that guy? I've never seen that guy before. Oh, that's the rest of the map there, look. That's the, the bit that we were jumping up at earlier to look. So how do I get back? Do I need to... I wonder if I need to go back underground to get back. That's interesting. That'll be interesting. And the Wonder Fizz was through here. I think the Wonder Fizz was up in one of these buildings. So once I get points from this round, I might go back and see if I can buy stamina. I also forgot that in Cold War Zombies, the perk machines, if the more perks you have, the more expensive they are. And I mentioned in the last video, I was like, damn, stamina up to 3,500. Yeah, because I had perks already. I'm just an idiot. I'm just an idiot. Right, are we down to the last? Yeah, we are. You spin. Was the, oh, was that that turning off? Okay. What's this? This looks like an item. Right, there is stuff Klaus headgear and what is Klaus the the robot guy? Is that what that is? So we need hands. We need what looks like a battery and a satellite dish. Was he down this way? I'm gonna have a look and see if we can find. We may as well try and find some parts for him while we're here. We will do similar to what I did on Forsaken. We'll take the extract when it becomes available. I don't wanna mess around too long and have too long too crazy long a video we'll save that for when black ops 6 comes out key card that says key card required there look 
key cards required. That must be Easter egg steps. Has to be. Anything down here for close? Hello. That's not it. Who? Th this is the thing that I enjoy about zombies. I've unlocked the pack a bunch. There is now no guidance to where things are. And I need to explore and use my brain and think to find where things are. I've not looked up anything for the map. I don't know where anything is. It's pure, raw, first time playing through. And that's the enjoyment that I get. I can go into other maps and you go and you grab the shield pieces. You go and do this and do that. And next thing you know, you're ready to go. And you're surviving for 20, 30 rounds plus. Like D-Machine. I kind of know D-Machine. I know where to get things. I know, oh, that was a, a log thing. I know where to get things. I know where to pick things up at. And it's not particularly difficult of a challenge. I'm able to just run in and go and survive a bunch of rounds if I want to. Which doesn't take away. Absolutely does not take away from the game. But this, what I'm doing right now, exploring for the first time and seeing things, that's what I enjoy. I think it's probably why I'm such a big fan of custom zombies maps in Black Ops 3 because you see new things, you see people creating things and that's the gun by. You see people coming up with new solutions to things and doing things differently to how the developers intended it to be and whatnot and I, I think that's great. Does this take us? Okay, so this is the other hole in this area and we're back here. Okay, so it does look like we need to go underground to get back and forth between the two sections of the map which i don't mind i mean it's fairly simple if you wait to the end of the round i guess and you can progress there doesn't seem to be anything in the supermarket there's a zip line where's this go where are we oh we're back on a rooftop yeah i'll take that i don't recognize the rooftop but this is cool this is what i'm saying about multi-level maps like I'm, I'm suddenly on a rooftop somewhere i'll just quick revive like, what the hell? How, how have I ended up up here with Quick Revive? Where's the start? Where did I come from? Where am I going? Who knows? I don't even know at this point. Trying to orientate myself. I think that might be the starting building over there. Which means if I take... Can you, can you take zip lines up the way? Oh, you can. Sweet. So is this... Yeah, this is the starting one. Okay, cool. So we've done a full loop. Sweet. Alright. Let's see, let's, I think maybe more of the map exploration is going to come from being down at ground level. And we zip down here, where's this take us? Um. Uh. What is going on? Oh, okay. That was weird. I thought the game was broke. <laughs> oh man, I thought that. I thought we were stumped. Let's take an upgrade for my gun here. Why can't I escape this easily? Ah yeah, so here's jogging stuff, yeah. Let's move the ground on. Let's get some progression. We'll get some points, see if we can find some other doors to open, and then we'll see when the evac comes. And when the exfil comes. I don't think there's any more doors in this zone. I think they will be underground now. If I've not seen them yet. So we'll need to do some exploring down below. But that's fine. We can have a look. One of the big complaints about this game is the weapon tier system as well. And do you know what? I actually don't mind it. Because playing kind of maybe Black Ops 3 for example. If you have a pack a punch gun that you've pack a punched once or twice and you've got your you've got your ammo type on it, say you've got like turned or fireworks or whatever on it, your damage kind of falls off quite quickly in the higher rounds. And it takes you quite a lot of ammo to uh, to to clear the round basically. Whereas having like weapon tiers Having weapon tiers gets rid of that because you can upgrade the, the tier of your weapon, which increases the damage. You can pack a punch the weapon, which increases the damage. There's like a whole bunch of stuff you can do to get stronger. And it doesn't cap out until a lot later, which I actually really enjoy. 
because it means that those higher rounds aren't such a slog to get through and I think it's quite good for the game <coughs> like getting to round the 30 or round 40 you're taking like in the older Apology of Thieves it takes quite a while like to, to just to kill one round oh this is open now did we go in here oh we did we took the zipline up here it takes quite a bit to go out around like over with in those games whereas in this it's got a lot quicker because your guns are stronger Take a max ammo. Let's head back down into the underground and we'll have a look and see. No trains coming. We can jump over. Wait, was there a. We did explore down here, didn't we? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Oh my days. Ah, so that killed the zombies. Oh, we're here. You can't get through that door. Okay, we're in. We're back in this room. I actually did like this room. Well, that makes sense, actually. If you come down, like, wherever I killed the first electric fuse, and then you come down through this door where you can get the second one before you go up into the power, because the power room's up here. So that's actually a really good order to do it in. Obviously, I didn't know that that order existed, because I've not seen this before, but being knowledgeable at the map and having that knowledge makes it quicker. I spent a lot more points to get the power on, probably, than what is required. That's so cool. I love the trains blasting through the tunnels. Oh no. I love the trains blasting through the tunnels. I think that's so cool. One less pain in the butt. Let's get out of here. That was a close call. What's your guys' thoughts on the head, like the points to kill instead of points to hit changes? Do you guys like that? Do you guys prefer it? Let me know down below if you guys think that killing a zombie grants the points is better than bullets hitting a zombie. Personally, uh, I don't know, I think it's quite a difficult one to balance. I spoke earlier about the changes to the weapon tier system and whatnot, and I think that that helps the system. Like, I, I think that helps the point system because if you were to not be able to kill zombies at later rounds and then therefore not get a max ammo okay. and not be able to kill anything your life is just so much more difficult and you don't have any points to to do anything either so it's harder you know where are we here oh we're back out on this side okay back out at the challenge box we didn't find any items for close which is quite funny I just must have been looking in, in the complete wrong place. Like, if, I, if I'm blasting this guy, like the whole magazine doesn't die, and then I run out of ammo, I'm kind of out of luck. I've got no, no points to buy ammo or anything. You know? That's why I quite like I don't, don't know if I like the change or not, but I like the, the change to the tiers, which helps at the higher rounds. And I think if without the tiers... Oh, I did not know that was going to bend it. Without the tiers, it becomes extremely difficult to uh, to cope at higher levels. I'm not going to bother wasting my time with the uh, fire. Let's go and pack a punch again. I may as well pack a punch the Krug this time. In fact, no, no, let's do the... Wait, I didn't even pack a punch the M16 the first time. There we go. Boom. Round 10. We made it. Almost didn't. Almost didn't make it. But we did. I can't complain. What one of these was the... I think the Wonder Fizz is 1500. What is that? Is that a... Oh! It's a Panzer! Wait, that dropped something. What did it drop? Also, I've just noticed that right there as I was reloading. It seems like you can... It seems like you can uh, reload while sprinting in this, where I don't think you can in Modern Warfare Zombies. So I wonder if that's going to be a thing in Black Ops 6 Zombies, where you can reload while sprinting. 
1500 critical hits. Let's go. What did the guy drop over here? Battery. Ah, so it was a battery for Klaus. There's the radio. Let's see if we can get an X an X fill. I'm gonna guess it's down here. Oh, I've came the wrong way. What even is that? Oh no. Where's where's that? Up this way? What? Who's Do who's Doctor Valentina? Give me dead shot. I need those extra crit damage. Is there a zip line here? There's a ladder. Oh god. Hope they don't attack you while you're on the ladder. Wait, I need to get to that rooftop. I can zip line up here, can't I? Ready to I thought I just needed to be on this kind of ground level, but being on a rooftop actually is really cool. This is going to be a lot more dangerous. Oh no. This is going to be a lot more dangerous. Oh lord. There goes my armor. Need to be careful. Twenty-five kills with a set. Fourteen more limbs. See if we can get the frost off. And that's us. We're done. We're out. That was mowered or toting. Do you know what? I quite liked it. A bit more difficult than Forsaken. A lot more difficult than D Machine. Can't quite compare it to Firebase because I've not played Firebase that much. But I actually quite liked Mowered or Toten. I think I actually really regret not playing it. I think it's it's good map depth with the heights, with the underground, with the, the rooftops, quite narrow corridors and stuff in, in times. And I think it was quite good. Do I rate it above? Do I rate it above Forsaken? I definitely put it above D Machine. I think I prefer Forsaken because I prefer the aesthetic. And at this point now, I've played a little bit more Forsaken. So I know the map a little bit better. And I know where things are now. I think if I had played Mirror or Toten when it came out in comparison to Forsaken, maybe I would prefer it. And maybe you guys in the comments were right. Let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, go down and give, us, give the video a like. And while you're down there, why not subscribe if you enjoyed it. And yeah, stay tuned for some Black Ops 6 videos coming out. The game comes out very soon, probably like tomorrow. So there will be more content coming for that as well. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you later on.